Boy, girl, or surprise? Nowadays, many parents find out the sex of their child before the baby's born. Yeah, a lot of people do, but others opt for the surprise, waiting to hear it's a boy or it's a girl. And some families are exploring another option. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford met one Florida family raising a gender neutral child. Instead of a boy or a girl, gender neutral babies are known as babies. Babies are babies without a known sex. That means only parents and trusted caregivers know that baby's anatomy. They say the gender part comes later and is left up to the child. Revealing the sex of your unborn baby has become a little silly. <laughs> Huge gender reveal parties are popular with themes like touchdowns or tutus and rifles or ruffles, indicating whether you're having a boy or girl. Yes, even this, an alligator chomping into a watermelon and blue jello spilling out. A proclamation to the world, it's a boy. See, it goes right in. But for some families, Oh, I love this, thank you. The gender reveal oh, yeah. won't happen anytime soon. We did not assign a sex at birth, which means when they were born, um, we, they had genitals and we know what they are. Uh, we just chose to acknowledge that those genitals don't indicate anything about gender. Yeah. Meet Sparrow, a smiling, curious, adorable 11 month old baby. Is this a baby? Your next question might be, is Sparrow a boy or girl? Can I see Elmo? The answer, Can I see Elmo? to be determined. My own mother did not know uh, Sparrow's uh, genitals for the first three months, even though she was living with us at the time. You're doing so good. Sparrow's parents decided to raise their baby gender neutral, meaning Sparrow will decide gender when older. Even Sparrow's birth certificate says sex unknown. We are in no way prohibiting Sparrow from having a gender, and we're not forcing them to be one gender or another. Here comes the baby. Ari says the family was inspired to raise Sparrow without a known gender after their older child, Hazel, discovered gender around the age of four. Hazel, what do you say when someone asks you if you have a little brother or sister? How do you respond? I say I have a little sibling because they're my little sibling, not sister or brother. Have any of you slipped up? Um, no one here in the house has. We didn't want Sparrow to grow up in a, an environment devoid of gender. We want- Because that's not real life. Yeah, it's not real life. We want them to get to experience all genders. So like them going out in public and getting treated like a girl and then getting treated like a boy and then getting, getting treated like someone you can't tell shows them what the diverse options are. Sparrow's family isn't alone. A closed Facebook group called Parenting Fabies has roughly 350 members. Now what if Sparrow says to you in the coming years, am I a boy or a girl? Um, I would tell them that they're the only one who gets to decide that, that I can't know that. Well, do you feel like a boy? Do you feel like a girl? So let me put you on the spot with this question. So yeah. I told you I have a daughter, Finley. Yeah. The walls in her nursery are pink. Yeah. Do you think I'm nuts? No, I think you're following a, a comfortable social narrative. As for Sparrow, Aww. it's wait and see. A gender reveal Ari believes is worth the wait. There's no way this can go wrong. People will be like, oh, well, the child will be confused. No, if, if gender is really something in you, then no one's gonna change that. There are varying degrees of gender neutral parenting. You have families like Sparrows who are choosing not to disclose the sex of their baby. Others are just encouraging their children to play with all kinds of toys and wear whatever color they want. And you can find Liz's full interview with Ari on WTSP.com. Just look for this story on our website and you'll see the link to their entire conversation.